What is happening? Big Rob with MBE Home Brewing. Back with another uh, beer knowledge video. Let's call it that today. Um, we're going to talk today, guys, about uh, we're still in our verses. I'm kind of, I get, I get questions, so I come up with these ideas. Um, and we're going to talk today uh, draft beer versus craft beer. What are the differences? And if you've been following along for a while, you're probably um, um, well uh, aware of the differences. But uh, a lot of the viewers are new, and a lot of um, the followers on my blog are new, and I do get these questions. So we're gonna we're gonna tackle this one. I have my computer in front of me, um, so if you see me, I, j I just got some notes. So I got some tips, or not tips, but the topics, points that I want to cover. <sighs> If you don't know who I am, guys, you can check me out at mbehomebrewing.com. Um, subscribe to this channel, like the video if you like it. If you don't, well, then don't. It's okay. Um, check out the blog if you're into brewing. I'm giving away my top five uh, favorite recipes from my brew pub as well. You can get the details of that on the side of my blog. So let's get into it. Um, so what is craft? What, what Draft beer versus craft beer. So to put it very bluntly, any craft beer can be a draft beer, but not all draft beer is craft beer. Say that seven times fast. That's a tongue twister. Um, if it sounds complicated, it's not. Um, let's start by, I'm going to kind of define or explain what both of these beers are. Okay, so what is a draft beer? Um, a draft beer, uh, North America spelled D-R-A-F-T. Um, in Europe and uh, the UK and uh, Australia and such, it is spelled D-R-A-U-G-H-T. It's the same thing, just a different, different, different spelling. Um, it's basically just beer that is stored in stainless steel kegs that are pressurized, okay, so here we go. Got one right here, this is a corny keg, so this would be a home brewing keg. I actually use these at my brew pub as well. So the beer is stored in here. It's pressurized with CO2, um, and it's also carbonated um, nine times out of 10. You can carbonate it naturally too with sugar, but nine times out of 10 it's carbonated with um, uh, CO2, so artificially carbonated, and then it is served through a tap, okay? So I don't know if you guys can see it, I think you can. Served through a tap, this is a picnic tap, but in a bar, um, they would have the tap handles. You walk into any bar and you see the tap handles um, behind the bar, um, that is serving draft beer, okay? So it's just, it's just any beer that is served from a keg through a tap handle, okay? That's what draft beer. Um, it's actually, a lot of people are surprised by it because a lot of people say, ah, oh, draft beer tastes so much better than um, um, canned beer or bottled beer. It's actually the exact same beer, okay? So the beer um, would be fermented in the same fermenters. I don't know if you can see my fermenter. They're a lot bigger in a commercial environment, but it's the same beer. And then what the brewer does, uh, the br brewery does is say, okay, whatever, 50% of the beer is going to go to be canned or bottled, and 50% we're going to put in our kegs, okay, to send off to the restaurants, pubs, and bars, the beer is getting sent in the cans, bottles is getting sent to the beer store, okay, so exact same beer, a lot of people find that hard to believe because they think the draft stuff tastes better than the canned stuff, there is a, and it's perceived that, and I, I concur with that, and there's, there's a few reasons for that, number one is beer that is served via kegs is shipped immediately to the consumer very quickly i should say okay so it's getting sent off to the pubs and restaurants right away it's getting on tap and it's being served so it's very fresh the quality is still very high versus beer that's in a can or a bottle could be stored in their warehouse could be you know it's got to be shipped to all the different beer stores liquor stores and then it's stored on those businesses shelves for a long time so the quality drops okay um, so that's one of the reasons. Um, let me see. I already said it's distributed quicker. It's also um, um, because it's stored in kegs, there's actually less oxygen exposure, um, oxygen and light exposure. Um, UV, UV rays from light are very detrimental to the quality of beer, it gives it the skunky taste. Um, some beers actually want that, like Corona and Heineken and stuff. They package them in those bottles so that they get that skunky taste. Um, stainless steel kegs, um, they're typically direct transferred from the fermenter um, or the, um, the uni tank where they're carbonated directly into the keg. Um, pressure transferred so no oxygen gets in. Okay, so when you're bottling, there's a chance, or canning, there's a chance oxygen can get in, and that's detrimental. So that's a couple other, that's a couple reasons why um, draft beer 
has a better taste, better quality than bottled and canned. Now we're gonna take a look at what's on draft beer. Um, pretty straightforward. Craft beer, harder to define. Um, I say it's, it's, it, it's any beer that is brewed using high quality ingredients, typically in smaller batches, okay? I don't believe that it has to be in smaller batches, but typically, and um, a lot of organizations define it having to be def brewed in smaller batches with attention to detail by the brewer, okay? Um, they're, they're very keen on making sure they're putting out a good product, resulting in a higher quality beverage with distinct, rich aromas and flavors, okay? So I've heard it said the best way to compare a craft beer to, um, not draft beer, but a craft beer to high mass produced commercial beers you know we're talking the ones that you know, just mass produced all over the place they're very cheap to buy we know the ones we're talking about i'm not going to name any company names but we know what i'm talking about um craft beer compared to that is craft beer would be like going to a, a very expensive restaurant and having a chef cook you a meal versus the high mass produced commercial beers are like going through a fast food drive through and ordering a hamburger that's the difference they're both a meal both beer ones of much higher quality Okay, so that's what craft beer is compared to commercial beer. Craft, so let's take a look at their, let's take a look at their history. Um, draft beer itself um, came around in the early 1700s. Prior to that, all beer was just basically served from cask. It wasn't under presser. Um, there was an invention. I, I was going to Google how to say this word because I always call it dragon, but it's dragan, I believe. D-R-A-G-A-N. It's an old English term, um, and it, that's where the term draft came from. Okay, so this 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 dragon <laughs> was uh, invented, um, and it basically means just to simply pull or carry and what it was was basically a hand pump uh it was a pump that um was connected to the casks or barrels um of beer and it allowed the the pub owner to now store these cat these casks or barrels under their bar and be able to hand pump the beer up so that was the first time draft came into play um and, and it became any beer that was served that way became known as draft beer okay so that's that's the history of that over time of course they started serving them in stainless steel kegs. They started pressurizing them, and of course, technology improved. Um, let me just see here, just trying to get on my computer. As for craft beer, very difficult to nail down the history. Um, the term craft beer is brand new-ish, um, 1990s, uh, in there when the craft beer revolution took over. But really, when you think about it, craft beer um, is, is uh, any beer that is brewed by small independent breweries with high quality so breweries have been doing that for hundreds of years really over over in, in england is a great example they've been brewing beers for hundreds of years in these small breweries sending them off to pubs and restaurants and such so it's hard to define um the history it's hard to nail down the history of craft beer um craft beer as we know it um, with the buzzword craft beer and the revolution. Um, see, to me, craft beer is just making beer as it used to be made before um, World War II came along and, uh, you know, grain shortages and all that stuff. And brewer, brewers, the large brewers, started using adjuncts such as corn and rice um, instead of the high-quality ingredients that beer was typically made with, you know, the, the high-quality grains. Um, and, it, and it ruined the quality of the beer. So to me, craft beer is just going back to how beer was originally brewed. That's what craft beer is to me. But the buzzword and the craft beer revolution that happened in the 90s happened because beer sales from these shite beers, um, commercial beers were dropping. So um, home brewers, um, people who brew beer on their own saw an opportunity to get into the market and bring a nice quality beer and the revolution took over and now we've got the buzzword craft brewery and beers and they've taken off like crazy um, in the last how many every years. So guys, that's that's it. That's all I got. I'm not going to keep going. It's really straightforward. Draft beer can be any be is any beer that is on tap. That's draft beer. Craft beer can be a draft beer because you can get a craft beer on tap, but you can also get the mass produced Schwill um, on tap as well, and that's a draft beer, okay? Craft beer is any beer that is brewed with high quality ingredients, 
Um, small independent breweries, I'll agree that, that that's it. Um, it it's color-wise, you're going to see it, it, it's going to look nicer where the, you know, and again, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm confusing the commercial beer with the, with the draft beer, but craft beer is going to be versus commercial beer. It's going to have a nice color. It can be varying colors where the commercial beer is going to be, you know, just watery looking, really light in color, very pale straw, uh, typically lower ABV, four to 5% on those commercial beers where craft beer can range. You know, you can get some, you can get some craft beers at 4%, but they're going to, they're going to be ranging higher. They're going to go four five, five and a half, six, six. All the way up, all the way up. You can get you can get craft beers nine percent and higher. Um, don't recommend pounding too many of those back. Um, so I, that's it, guys. I hope that clears it up. I'm gonna put a link under this this video on YouTube to the blog post where I do go into more detail. Um, and you can you can I'll even put some links to definitions by some of the organizations that um, talk about craft beer and what it what it what it takes to be considered craft beer in their opinion. Um, so, and again, if you get any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to help you guys out. Like, subscribe, and again, if you brew beer, check out my blog um, where you can get my top five recipes, my favorite recipes from my brew pub. That's what I got, guys, and uh, Big Rob is out of here as soon as he figures out how to turn the camera off.